guys, this is Andrew Richardson, Andrew Coyne, here with another MMA Mania Fighter on Fighter Technique highlight. This time we're going to look at the title challenger, Anthony Johnson, also known as Rumble, one of the hardest hitters in the sport. Now, we're going to look at his hand fighting technique, which is to say, rather than keep his hands super tight, Rumble likes to reach out and feel, particularly with his left hand, and it has a few different um, effects. Now, one thing before we get into anything technical to note is that Rumble has a really long reach, and that's part of what makes this so effective. Just like John Jones reaches, controls, and elbows, Rumble can get away with feeling his hands out so far because a lot of times his opponent just can't hit him from the same range. And even then, no one wants to trade punches with Rumble anyway. Now, one of the simple techniques that Rumble will do a lot is he's just going to reach to his opponent's hand and pull it down, either from the inside or outside, it doesn't matter, and then fire with his right hand. He's just creating the path and then shooting a strong shot down the middle. Pretty simple, but he's knocked people out with him. Um, beyond that, it's a little more conceptual. So one thing with the hand placement is that it interrupts head movement. So a basic slip to a one-two, he slips my jab, and then he slips over my cross. If he slips my jab, but then I keep my left hand on him, he can't slip my cross as well. I'm going to hit him. Now, another benefit um, that's particularly important for Johnson is that it helps his wrestling takedown defense. By keeping a hand on his opponent, he knows when the shot's coming. So a lot of times when we feel him here, his opponent level changes, he can shoot his hips back, press, keep that space, a lot of times throw the uppercut. Or, if they shoot in, he can switch his feet, and now he has a whole different angle. That shot's going all the way that direction, it's coming nowhere near his hips. And then finally, this is something that we saw when Rumble fought Alexander Gustafsson, is that it really breaks the posture and is especially effective on a wounded opponent. So after Johnson hurts his opponent, he's going to be pushing, breaking posture, although it's not in a good position to throw it back. And I can just keep firing right hands, he can try to cover his guard, but I have all the time in the world to find openings and good shots with that right hand. With Johnson, all he really needs is his right hand, so if he can set it up effectively just by holding and controlling, it's going to land in the knockout.